Hello and welcome to this little and uh, hopefully short tutorial about subsurface scattering inside Blender. So uh, subsurface scattering is a topic that I've been struggling for quite some time now and uh, uh, made some progress and um, just want to show you how easy it is to um, create some very realistic looking uh, skin material um, with the principled uh, BSDF shader inside Blender. So. What is subsurface scattering? Um, just in a nutshell, um, subsurface scattering, as Wikipedia says, is um, a mechanism of light transport in which light penetrates the surface of a translucent object, is scattered by interacting with the material and exits the surface at a different point. The light will generally penetrate the surface and be reflected a number of times at irregular angles inside the material before passing back out of the material at an angle other than the angle it would have been if it had been reflected directly off the surface. Subsurface scattering is important in 3D computer graphics being necessary for realistic renderings of materials such as marble, skin, leaves, wax and milk. So um, if we take a look at a um, a clear glass of water. Um, there are no particles inside this water and uh, the light just shoots through the, the water and uh, doesn't get bounced off anywhere inside it. So um, it is clear. Um, and there is basically no subsurface scattering or no scattering inside it. Um, also no absorption or uh, very little absorption. Um, if we take a look at the um, a glass of milk, for example, there are little particles swimming around inside the water and uh, the light gets through and gets reflected and um, we get this scattered look. Uh, the same goes with, for example, um, skin. We can see that very good here. Um, the, the light comes from behind and it penetrates the, the, the skin surface and um, we can see the bones here and the bones uh, are very, are very uh, dense. So. Um, the light gets absorbed there and uh, but on the sides here um, it penetrates through the surface and uh, bounces uh, quite some time here um, and gets shoot out so we got this um, subsurface scattered look so okay how does it work in, in blender now if we um, open um, a scene and um, create um, create Suzanne for example let's create a Suzanne monkey and just put on a uh, subdivision surface two and make it shade smooth. Okay, and we're gonna go to um, rendered view. I think I already put in a HDR right to light it. Yes, I did. Just let me increase the power of the HDRs. Let's put it to one, and I'm gonna go to the shader editor and I'm going to give it a new material, the principal BSDF material. Um, there are three options here, the subsurface, subsurface radius and subsurface color. And in the Blender manual, um, it says um, the subsurface is a mix between diffuse and subsurface scattering. Rather than being a simple mix between diffuse and subsurface scattering, it acts as a multiplier for the subsurface radius. So this, the uh, subsurface, this slider here acts as a multiplier for this one here. And this is honestly a little bit complicated for me to understand, but um, I'm going to try. So, um, and the subsurface color is the uh, subsurface scattering base color. Okay. Now, if we go ahead and just increase the subsurface amount, we can see that there is something changing here. Okay, what we see here is that um, the light gets through the, the uh, Suzanne head and uh, gets scattered. We can change the, the color for the scattering here in the subsurface radius because this these values um, are the the red value and the green value and the blue value. So if I just uh, lower the, the red value here to let's say zero, we can see that it now changes to a different color. Um, same goes with the, the subsurface color. So if I just go ahead and uh, make these values to one, we get an even distribution of, of, um, of the color. I hope this is correct. Um, and if I change the subsurface color to, let's say, something like a uh, red, everything gets scattered red because the, the subsurface scale is too big. If I lower the scale now, see that? 
the ear gets. And if I want this uh, this to be not that big, the, the uh, subsurface amount or the, the scale, I can change this by, by lowering the subsurface radius to, let's say, uh, 0.5, for example, so it gets uh, scattered less. Um, and this is basically it. I mean, you have to try it. Um, you, have to, you have to see what looks good. Just uh, play around with these uh, values here. And um, yeah, I mean, it's very easy to understand um, or to play around at least. Okay, let's uh, go to another scene. I have a, a model I bought uh, a while ago. Uh, it's just this uh, human uh, male person here, and um, with this one, it, there came some uh, some textures. I'm going to show it to you. Um, the image editor. And let's see. Uh, I have this uh, diffuse texture. Yeah, below it. Uh, which obviously uh, goes into the diffuse channel of the of the shader, and then we have some some other layers like the epidermal layer, which is a little bit um, darker, and the uh, subdermal layer, uh, which is uh, red, and, and uh, this is for 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 the veins. We can see the veins here in the ear, for example, and uh, this comes in uh, for for the for the scattering uh, slots. I'm going to show that to you right now. If I just change it to the shader editor now and turn on um, the render view, oh, I already did it for testing purposes. Okay, so now we have a <laughs> we have a, a, a black material, nothing on it. So I'm going to create a a principled shader just plug it into the, the output, the material output. So we have a, a plain white surface on on the body. And we're going to take the um, we're going to take the body diffuse material. I'm going to just um, I'm going to create I'm going to go to texture, image texture, and i um, going to take the uh, body diffuse and just put it into the base color. Give it a minute to load. So we have now we have uh, uh, the diffuse channel into the base color, but there is no subsurface scattering going on right now because we didn't uh, enable it. So I'm um, just going to load in the other uh, two textures. Uh, let me see. Uh, the other image texture is the epidermal. Let's see how the epidermal looks. Yeah, it looks a little bit sick now, but we're going to blend it. We're going to blend these two uh, together so it looks good afterwards. And uh, we're going to take another texture, um, subdermal texture. And here you can see the blood vessels, um, the ear and the ear, the, the all over the skin. Uh, uh, and by the way, the, the reason um, why there are three textures is because of the um, the real human skin layers, because they are um, they consist of, of uh, different layers. We have the epidermis, the epidermal layer, and the dermal layer here. And, and they will help you to get a good looking skin material after all. So I'm going to go to um, to our um, shader now and uh, plug in our diffuse into the base color. Okay. And um, maybe we should give it a render just to see um, the difference between uh, our shader now. So I'm going to go and, and render this one. Also, I just put in a camera uh, with uh, some depth of field to make it uh, look good. And it already looks good, you know, but um, there is um, scattering missing. And also these fine details you see on, on the skin, like, for example, the veins or some vessels or something like that. So, okay, this is uh, our basic um, material. Okay, let's go back and uh, put in our epidermal layer. And so we're going to mix these two together by um, creating a mix RGB. And... Uh, the, the diffuse in the first slot and um, the uh, epidermal 
layer into the second slot. Just give it some time to load. So now it doesn't look very good, um, but we can add the change the, the factor, the mixing value to um, let's say 0.1. So it gets more of the diffuse and less of the, of the epidermal layer, or we can change it to uh, let's say overlay where we can uh, put it to 0.3, for example. Yeah, it gets more color, let's say 0.2. Okay, and just give it a render now. So now we got some uh, color variation, actually. This is the original, just the diffuse channel, and this one is with the um, dermal layer underneath it. So just a slight uh, variation. I mean, you can you can always um, play with these values um, here and make it uh, stronger or, or less strong. So now uh, comes the important or the most interesting part, um, and this is the subsurface scattering. Just give it a load here and uh, put now the uh, subdermal layer inside of the subsurface color this one in and change the subsurface radius to one and uh, if I just increase the, the subsurface see what happens it gets very <clears throat> gets like uh, very milky and, and, and uh, not very dense so uh, we have to be careful with the subsurface um, amount so let's put it to point one for example but now we, we can see that we have some subsurface scattering going on in the air but it's way too strong right now so let's put it to 0.15 for example yeah and it's still too strong but um, as the manual of, of blender says uh, the subsurface acts as a multiplier of the subsurface radius we can just go ahead and lower this one as well to 0.5 for example and now we can see that we have some very good subsurface scattering going around the ear, but uh, not too much going on anywhere else. So now we can, uh, I also have a, a specular map for the um, for the reflections of, of the skin to make it even look, to make it look even better. So I'm just going to load this one in. Um, let's go to uh, texture, image texture and uh, go to specular weight put this one to non-color data this one is important and put it to uh, inside the specular channel and just lower the roughness um, or maybe just put it a value to of, of 0.3 for example yeah this one looks good and also i have um a, a normal map which is also very very important to make it look good i'm just going to copy it from from the original shader up here um, let's just duplicate it and uh, put it inside of the normal yeah all right now we can see that something really has changed in in our material so let me see i'm gonna um go to here and again this one is just the diffuse channel this one is with the dermal and, and now give it a render so now that the render has finished uh, we can see if we compare this to our original without any subsurface scattering that there is a really really dramatic difference between these two maybe the subsurface scattering is too strong we can always lower this and um, be sure that you uh, always test the shader with some different uh, uh, light conditions with some different hdris i'm going to do that right now and i'm going to show it to you afterwards all right and uh, these are the renders i tried so we have the um, this hdri then i used uh, uh, something like a bathroom and um, and a garage and you can see that it looks consistently good uh, we have some issues here around the lips here but uh, we could like easily change that by um, just replacing this uh, portion here with another material with a lower subsurface scattering strength for example 
This is what I used, uh, which works well. So in a nutshell, um, this is it. Um, I hope you liked it and um, give me a like or a comment. Um, see you next time. Bye.